Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Friday. It's March the 14th. It's been a good trading week. Uh, it was a, it's been a good day today. Today's just a range day. Let me. I, I kind of backed out there where you could uh, see that. And this this range today uh, was really the range left over from yesterday's afternoon, from about lunchtime to closing time. We were within that range, and notice that's the exact range that we're in today and you'll see that quite often so uh, you know always watch those previous lows and highs and because uh, they can be important areas so um, but there was a nice move up to the top there, you know if you were here early enough there was a move coming down I didn't I, I didn't get here in time to catch this move here and there's just no way to enter the rest of the way down and that was kind of the same thing here. If you didn't get in up here, you really didn't get a safe place to enter. Um, so you got to be real careful. There was actually a trap right here, but I still didn't like it. I almost took it, and you see it kind of got hung up before it went lower. And I almost entered there, but I talked myself out of it. And uh, um, I didn't actually take my uh, second demonstration trade until over here. I wanted to enter here. And I missed this one. I tried to use a limit order, and I missed it. And, uh, and But we'll talk about all that when we get there. But uh, nice trend up, nice trend down, and another nice trend back up. And, I mean, um, you know, it was really fairly straightforward day. Uh, this was a little bit tricky here if you didn't get your channel right. Uh, this is pretty obvious. It's the first couple of swings, and it's holding prices, and you get a little break. And then a couple of legs up, and guess what? A new high, just slightly, and then you get the same thing. You get the move down. You, you really get the break right in here and the move to uh, a new low and uh, really just testing the lows again, and then you, you move up. Uh, we've got the break. I'm guessing we're probably going to retest this here again, and there could be something bigger going on here. Uh, occasionally, you'll get a bigger... I mean, this is, these are two pretty tight channels, but I'm guessing we'll probably try to retest this and then maybe make another leg down. We could go higher. We just have to see. Um, but it's about 11.30, just a little bit before 11.30, but I'm going to go ahead and do the chart lesson and uh, show you my trades, two trades I took, and then I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to call it a weekend. It's been a good week, and, uh, you know, we lost one day of the trading, or I did, because of the... Um, historical data issue and actually that somebody sent me something yesterday saying they had that problem again but there hadn't been any more issues uh, I didn't have any problems yesterday um, so occasionally if your chart doesn't load right just hit reload uh, just right click and click on the reload all historic, historical data uh, but if you were having an issue yesterday um, you know I don't think it was CQG because that's my that's who I use for my data and uh, I didn't have any issues, so uh, everything was good. I mean, I had good data for yesterday and no problem today either, it seems like. So uh, I'm not sure what that trader was, uh, what kind of issue that trader was having. But uh, but let's talk about the trades, and we'll move on. Um, when I came in, we were in this move down. We just started it. There's really no place to enter in here. And then you get a second entry short. This one was a little bit aggressive because there's not a great setup there. Let me back out a little bit. I'm still having problems with my mouse. I ordered me a new mouse today, so um, hopefully we won't have this issue much longer. But we broke higher first, and then we came down, and I had a, a stop right here that I, I, you know, I wanted it to shoot on down, and it didn't. Uh, you know, you end up getting filled here, and it's an easy scalp, and you're looking for a retest of the low. But when it turned up right here, um, if you drew this line off these swings here and you pulled it down, you should have been expecting a move up right here. Uh, and, you know, and when this thing turned, that's rejection right there. It took it a minute to take off, but, I, you know, I like to go in long right there. Uh, even though this is not a failed second entry short, it's very similar to it. Uh, it's two tries to go lower that fail, uh, and it turns up, and fairly easy scalp. Um, and... You know, you could have caught some runners on most of these, couple of these, these first couple of moves here. Uh, you could have easily caught some runners. Uh, and then you get a little two-legged pullback to the EMA again. Um, 
again, it takes a little bit of time to take off, but once it breaks higher, it trapped everybody. And uh, you can tell, man, this thing shoots off here. And there was some news that came out somewhere in here this morning. Um, I think it was the earlier news, though. I can't remember if this was news-driven or not. But, uh, you know, the price action, you know, the news usually does not affect the price action. The only news we're really wor that concerned about are the high the ones that we know really affect the market. And there's two or three of them, always the FOMC stuff. Um, the other one is the unemployment stuff and the unemployment numbers. And uh, I think the one this morning was manufacturing. And sometimes, you know, it's a big deal. Sometimes it's not. But, you know, definitely you got to watch the ones that uh, – there's several different places to get your news. And people always ask me about the news alert thing that I use. Uh, you can go – over to the Ninja Trader, where you can download the indicators, and they've got four or five of them, I think, and they're all about the same thing. And you just download them like an, you know, you install them like an indicator, and set them up, and they'll automatically notify you whatever you set up five minutes before the news comes out, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, whatever. I usually have mine notify me about five minutes before the news comes out to make sure if I'm in a trade, if I want to exit, I can get out. Or if, um, you know, I don't usually enter any new trades prior to that if it's a high priority thing. If it's just regular news, I don't pay much attention to it uh, because the price action is never wrong. Even when the fast, you know, even when the big news comes out, the price action is usually not wrong. It's just the swings is so much more emotional. The swings are bigger and your stops probably won't hold and your targets are probably too small. So you got to be real careful. But anyway, back to the trades. You get the two-legged pullback, nice move, runners, you know, good, you can catch runners and ride this all the way. You know, I would be looking to exit around this this line somewhere, definitely up here near these previous highs. You see we broke just above that turn down, and now we get the break of the trend line. Uh, you get this little double bottom. It's the first break of the trend line of trend channel. We overshot it here, so you expect you might overshoot it here. It's You're either going to get one or two things when you get an overshoot. You're either going to come up that much short on the other side, or you're going to overshoot the other side, because you generally get measured moves. And um, so second entry long right there, uh, that looks like rejection. Look at all those stems. Quick, easy scalp. No runners on this one. And then you get a... Uh, a second entry, a really a failed second entry short almost, and a second entry long. And look at that move. Boom. They trapped everybody again. People that don't understand how to read this and understand what's going on here, they get trapped, and boom, it shoots up again. It, it, that's your first break. You're looking for a retest. You get your new high. Guess what? It's time for a trend down. And now you're trending down. So, you know, I wasn't sure if this was enough for a trend line break, and maybe it's not because we came back and tried to make a retest here, and it failed. And uh, an aggressive trader is probably going to go long right there. It's just a first entry. There's really two legs up, so it's, you know, on a smaller scale, it's a failed second entry short. Um, but when we shot that quickly below that trend line, I wasn't so sure. So um, it's a little bit aggressive. Uh, aggressive traders probably going to try to enter there. Um uh, I missed it. I tried to use a limit order. I tried to get, be a little bit too conservative, and I missed it. Um, and so it takes off without me. Then it pulls back right here, and it pulls back again. And uh, we're not back to the trend line here, but there's a failed second entry short. And uh, I used a stop to enter right here. Uh, looking back on it, I wish I would have used a limit order, but my mistake down here, that's what happens. You make mistakes, and then that starts you to thinking about something in the next trade. And so rather than risk missing this trade, I just used a stop, and it, it was all it were all worked out. I kept my stop, my safety stop below the signal bar, which is this right here, and I kept it a couple of ticks below that. And you see, it never really uh, got anywhere near that stop. But you know, when it broke up and turned back down, um, you know that scares a lot of traders and shakes them out. But when it turned straight up off of that trend line. I tried to add on another set, and uh, I couldn't get it in there in time, and boy, it was gone. So um, I tried. I put a limit order here, hoping it would tick back. This thing was gone. Uh, so I, I would have could have got three trades if I'd have been quick enough, or if I'd have been thinking ahead. But uh, I was already in a trade, so I'm worried about that trade more than thinking about adding on. But if you if you could get in here, this was a great place to get in. 
because now you got that rejection right off the trend line and look at it go boom and you got to figure we're coming back up here to these highs where the high of the possible range you got a double top up here uh, and we've tested that same area yesterday afternoon so um, and now we're probably headed back down to here if you're still trading so that was the last trade I marked um, but you know you got I guess this was good enough for the break here you got your new high and sometimes on these trading ranges so when people start to recognize them you know you might try to get a retest and there's just not enough people willing to risk it you know they all know we're in a range and we're probably headed lower and that wins out so uh, there was actually uh, there there was a failed second entry long here I think this one's too risky you know prices are probably coming back to the EMA uh, regardless so because that is a trap I'm gonna mark that one green um, I was probably setting up my chart when that set up uh, no reason to go short right here and definitely don't want to go long there with all those you know there's no setup bar so when this broke higher and turned down I think you got to go short right there too and you can see that was a nice trap and it shot down really quickly and there's also probably I don't have it on here yet because I wasn't looking at all this there's a trend line right here and I guarantee you there's a channel here and there it is you can see it it fits real nicely that's holding prices fairly nicely and it could be a little steeper than that when you know but if this bounces it turns down again right off this uh, I won't adjust that but it could be coming down a little bit steeper and it may be coming down off of that but that looks really good just from what price act that's what I would start with right there on my price action trading that and work off of that so uh, but that's what I saw today really simple day I mean, you know, you hear me say this over and over on these kind of days. I love these kind of days because they're really predictable. And all you got to do is draw these short-term trend lines. And notice what I, how they did. This one, I had it working off these first couple of bar, first couple of swings. And, um, and we may have got the break right there. Maybe not. Maybe it's a little, oops, didn't mean to do that. Maybe it's a little bit higher right here off the highs but I'm guessing that's probably it and you got the break here and the new low but if you draw these channels it really keeps you on the right side and keeps you on the you know looking at things properly but oh, before I forget let me put the two trades on for the day um, show those to you first one was this short right here we broke higher and we turned down and I just had my stop sitting there uh, if if you didn't enter here the way I did, the next one would have been, it would have started here, but when this one made it came up a little shorter, you could have just moved it here, and boom, off it goes. And um, notice the new low. There's a first entry short pullback. That's a second entry short, and it is near these lows, but um, you've got the channel working down, and... You know, there's a failed second entry. Notice this first entry pullback, second entry. It's a little failed second entry uh, long. But this is kind of like a little breakout pullback short. So I considered adding on there, but I didn't think it was uh, worth risking uh, adding another one on yet. Until, but and by the time I realized it's really going to go lower, I was already out and it was done. So um, that's one thing, I, you know, that people seem to miss. You have to enter at the right spot. You cannot enter one tick late, and people do that all the time. They'll recognize the move here, and then they'll try to enter way up here. Well, the problem is, is a lot of these moves will only get the six necessary ticks that you need to get out with four ticks of profit, and then it'll back up or, or reverse. And so that didn't happen on these trades, but I can tell you, it does happen a lot, just like right here. It got just enough, and then it backs up. You know, yeah, it continues to go higher, but you don't know that. And uh, and so you got to be, and just like this one right here, this one got just enough ticks, really, to get out. If you enter late, like you wait on the next bar, and you enter down here, notice what happens. And you end up with a loss, and it goes the other way. So you've got to enter at the right place, and you got to get exactly the right, uh, you know, the right uh you can't enter late, in other words. you got to enter at the right spot. And if you miss it, you can drop a limit order in there, and maybe it comes back for you. But don't chase it, because if you start chasing trades, you will be a loser. I can promise you that. Uh, that's one of our main rules. But uh, this one, um, 
was a little aggressive. I, I didn't feel like take. I didn't feel like it was it was a good enough trade to take. Uh, you know, trying to get my two trades per day. I, I felt you know, hey, let's wait. If we're going to hire, there's going to be another setup here. Well, little you know that you don't get another setup till way up here. But that is a very strong move, and you're going to probably get another move on up to the rest of the way. So just wait on the setup, and I, that's what I did. We had the notice. This is a kind of a uh, this is your new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. So as soon as it breaks higher, if it does, it's a failed uh, second entry. But notice the new high here, and then a fa first entry, pullback, second. So it was a double failed second entry short, if that makes sense. And so I didn't want to risk missing this one, so I just used my stop and kept my safety stop down here. Um, it worked out, uh, but if you saw this little touch off the trend line and you saw this and, and you could get in here uh, you could have added on here but it moved too fast and I couldn't I scalped out right there and there's my two trades for the day easy $200 um, I mean it just doesn't get much easier than that and um, and you know there were actually some other uh, if you didn't if you didn't feel like entering these because they were it's such a strong move and you want to wait on a better a better setup there's an easy trap right there there's another one right there um, and this is looking like it may be a little bit steeper here. Let's let's play with this a little bit. And this is how I do it during the day, um, just to make sure I'm right. You know, I'll look at it every both ways, and then I'll adjust. And I believe it's a little steeper right here. Definitely, definitely looks a little steeper than what I originally had, and that's fitting better now. So, and again, that's the first two swings up here. Maybe sometimes it's the closes, you know, just move it around to where it fits the best. And it may be the closes because that gives you this turn down right here. So just play with it and, you know, adjust it as you go. As you get more price action, you get a better feel for it. Um, but, you know, the smartest traders are doing the same thing I'm doing. So what I had earlier probably looked right. And now you see that, you know, we were off just a little bit it still was close enough to get us where we need to be. So uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to start my Friday early. Um, I'm going to see if there's any more emails that I haven't answered. I'm going to answer what's come in, and I'm probably going to take off early today and go to lunch and be done. It's the last day of spring break. My uh, kids will be going back to school next week, so I'm going to get out of here. It's an another pretty day here. looks like another spring day. So I'm going to get out early and start my weekend early. Hope you have had a good trading day and a good trading week, and that you can start your uh, weekend early as well. And we'll be back to do it next week. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.